Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about Microsoft Lists. List view and column formatting is a very fantastic way to customize the look and feel of a list. In these days Microsoft has introduced three new properties. The first one is particularly useful if you are dealing with images in a list. In fact, this property it allows you easily to display the thumbnail of an image. The second one is very useful when you deal with document libraries because you can display the file preview of a document. And lastly, with the third one, we can change the look and feel of the command bar. I mean the buttons on top of the list, the new button, the quick edit button and so on. So you can change the icon, text, you can add new buttons, you can hide existing one. Ok, let's get started. Here I am on office.com. Let me click on the waffle menu so in this way I can jump in the Microsoft Lists view. Here I have a list that I already created in the past called Asset Manager. Let's go for it. And here as we can see I have a bunch of items already added. There are several columns here a little bit customized using column formatting. As we can see here we have a toggle menu, we have these other buttons in this other column. I made a video how you can create this kind of component and how you can use column formatting to have this kind of result. Now let's see how we can change the command bar. This is the command bar. There are two sections. The first one is called primary section and it is the section where you can see all buttons available. Then we have another section called Overflow section and it appears when you click on the ellipsis button. Now let's start to change this command bar. To change the command bar I have to click on the drop down all items and then I have to start to modify the current view. So this is the current JSON. I have already applied an alternative row format to this, to this list. I can remove everything so we will start from a clean situation. I think it's more easy to understand for everybody. Now here I already have something on my clipboard. I have what I need to modify the command bar. So when you want to change the command bar, for example when you want to modify the text or add uh, and use a new icon or uh, mix the position of all these buttons, you have to use this property, command bar props. And then inside of this attribute you can add an array of commands and here I have the new as key. I'm targeting the new button which is this one and I have the property hide so here for example I can say true. Now if I click on preview the button new disappear. It's no longer available but I can, I want to see this, this button, let me set again to false, the new button appear again here and uh, at, it is at the position 2. So now the position can accept from 0 to another number. So for example if I set 0, the new button will appear at the first position. Let me click again on preview and here we go, I have again the preview, the new button at the first position. Let me set again 2 so this will move to the third position and then I have the, the share button. Now here I am specifying that this button should be available in the overflow section. This means that when I click on the ellipsis button I will see the share button. So here again I can say that I want to have this at the first position or at the second position let me click on the preview button and now I should see the share button below the manage my alerts. So you have the ability to define the position. If you want to change the text, all you need to do is just add another property here and this will be the text. Let me add some text. For example, I can add share with. Now we should see a new text appearing. Let me click on the preview. Now if I click again on the ellipsis button, we have share with. You have even the ability to change the icon if you want. Now let me add an additional property and this will be icon name. I want to have another icon. And here I can specify the name of the icon. For example, let me select group. 
and then I'm going to click on preview. If I click on the ellipses button, here we go, I have a new icon available. I can do the same in, the, in another section. Uh, for example, for the new button, let me add this one. And let me click again on preview. And here we go, I have now a new icon. Here again, I can change the text for this other button if I want. I need just to type text and then the text that I want. I can say new item and clicking on preview. Now I have a new text here. So we have seen how you can move the buttons to other position, how you can rearrange the visibility of every buttons here. Moreover, you can change also the, the list of buttons available in the overflow section, which is this one. But let me show you now all properties that you have that can help you to play with the command bar. Here I am now on the official Microsoft documentation. I will add the link in the description of this video. So here we have a list of keys that you can use if you want to refer to a specific button. We have a lot of keys available. So this is the new button, for example, new folder, new Word document, new Excel workbook, new PowerPoint presentation, new OneNote, and so on. There is copy to, move to. Some property is only available for document libraries. For example, the copy to, the move to, these are only available on, on the document library. If I scroll down, we can see all attributes that you can use to modify the command bar. There is the hide, this helps you to change the visibility. There is the text if you want to override the, the current and the full text, the icon name, the primary, so this is the, the primary the primary section, or more specifically, this is this refer to the primary button. So if you want to have the primary button like this one, let me jump on the on this list. So the primary button appear at the first position. And uh, so if I go, for example, if I set this to the first position and if I click on preview, this is the primary button has this, this color. It takes the color of the theme of the application. Now let me set again on two and let me go on preview. Let me switch back to the, to the documentation. Then we have the position. We have already seen how you can play with the position. Then we have section type. We have two type of sections, primary and overflow. Here we have an example. Then we have the selection modes. This is another way that you have to display properties and function in the command bar. For example, in this case, this style are going to tell that the share button should appear when the user has selected one item in the list. Then here below we have this delete function that appear when there is a multi-selection activated on the, on the list items. Now let me talk a little bit about the, the icon name, where you can get the icons. So if you jump on this link, Fluent UI, let me open it, this is the official Fluent UI, this is the front-end framework used by Microsoft to, to render every application in the Microsoft 365 context. If I click on style and finally on iconography, fluent UI icons, if I scroll a little bit, I have all icons available. So here I can type, for example, something if I want to filter the icons and I have all icons available here and filtered. So if I want to use this icon, for example, all I need to do is just copy the name of this icon so I can use it in my Microsoft Lists contest. Let me jump back here and let me set instead of group icon, let me set the one that I copied just one second before. If I click on preview, here we go. We have exactly the icon that we have seen before. It's extremely easy to see this icon catalog, pick the icon that is more comfortable for you and then apply using the column and view formatting. Now let's jump on a new property available, which is the get thumbnail image. Let me save this one, let me cancel. 
and let me modify this image column. This is an image column, but you can use another, another column if you want. This could be a text column, for example, a single line text. It doesn't matter. So let me go now on this one and let me go on column settings and finally on format this column. Here I have already something that I already prepared. Let me show you what I have here. What I'm adding here is just an image. I'm using the function get thumbnail image. I'm using the column formatting. This means that I can use this attribute to, to call the current field. And then I can display the image in the source property of these attributes by specifying the pixel, the number of pixel that I want to use for this image. In the alternate image, I'm using the file name and then below I have the style. So I added here with 50% and max width 100%. Now, if I click on preview, now we can see that this column it's a little bit bigger. I can change it again by clicking on 70% and now I have this device photo column a little bit bigger. I can save, now I can click on cancel and now this image is more visible and increase the usability of this list. The last new property that I want to highlight here and I'm going to open a document library that I have here is the file preview. So here I have a column completely blank so I can create a single line column, a multi-line column, it's, it doesn't matter. So now let me go on column settings and let me click on format this column. So here I'm going to add my JSON. Now I'm going to add a new element here below let me paste what I already have here in my clipboard and let me remove this comma. Here we go. I can better format this JSON. And now here I basically adding a new element called file preview. This display the thumbnail with medium size and here below I can set more and additional properties. So for example, I have the file previews props I have the width, this is the type icon style, and then below I have the brand type icon style. Now let me click on the preview. This is an example that you can find always in the documentation of Microsoft. And as we can see here, so at the first position I have a folder, and this display exactly a thumbnail of a, of a folder. Then below I have a Word document, and this is the preview of this document. I have Again, other Word document. This is a PowerPoint presentation. Here I have an image. This is the thumbnail and the preview of this image. This is a file Excel that apparently has just one word inside. This is another PowerPoint. This is another image. So this is very useful, this property, if you want to have immediately a look to, to the file that is stored in a document library. So here again, you can play with the with the size of this one. So let me set, for example, 98 pixels. So now it's a little bit bigger. And so that's it. So here you can find, uh, of course, every information related to this property in the official documentation that you can find in the description of this video. All right, we have seen in this video three additional properties to customize Microsoft lists. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.